It is what it ain't. You already know it's Top Cat 100 going hard in the paint. The Real Fit TV, which you tuned into. Now, let's get that out the way. Shout out to all my supporters. You already know it's much love. And to all my trolls, you're like a Croatian roach. And after this video get done, I'm going to put some water in your grandmother's bowl. That's how I got to rock, man. Because, see, if I don't diss y'all, then you're going to diss me. See, I guess so I got to do it first. You don't like it? I already told you. Just let me know, man. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy, man. That's how I get down. Anyway, we back up on this TBG and this BBG thing. Because there's a lot that need to be said. Now, see, why I was gone these couple of days, I'm sitting back, I'm watching what's going on, I'm watching what these other vloggers put out, and I'm sitting there just like, okay, people coming up with all type of assumptions out of nowhere because ain't nothing really happened. As you can see, Boulevard Sleepy just released this video. So all the people talking about somebody and TVG just got hit and they ain't talking about it and why they don't talk about their group members and why they don't... Look, that's because everything ain't from the streets. You got to understand these boulevards, after Dutch got hit and stuff like that, these boulevards is older heads, man. They dealing with a different type of science and a different type of way they come in that war because they're not just going to put everything on Instagram. Now, see, the BBGs are much younger and stuff like that, and I'm not saying a lot of them ain't mature and stuff in the way they moving, but if you ever been in the streets, you already know it's called the bad band. If you're really trying to get at somebody, you're not going to sit up here and put put everything that happened up on the internet knowing that vloggers is out here like me yeah like me and everybody else that reports on this type of stuff you know what i'm saying this is how some of us eat and this is how some people have fun and this is their hobby for me it's all i'm gonna do it all see that's the thing about it. i gotta report it because i see if i don't do it and i sit back like i did for these two days and people just gonna start coming up with stuff and putting it in the air that ain't how we rocking boulevard sleep is still standing strong now it's a lot of people in tbg that y'all gotta understand that's not on camera and yes it is connections to tbg and boots to click beyond avi and stuff like that we all know boulevard re-up in this clip that we see right here from back in the day him and boulevard sleepy was messing with badass entertainment so we all know that they know each other personally so all of this stuff with people blaming boulevard re-up and stuff like that boulevard re-up got something coming out and he telling it how it is from his perspective about all the slings that's being thrown straight up and down I don't think Boulevard Real never been the one to not speak his mind. And that's what y'all got to realize when we do these type of videos. Everybody ain't part of no setup, bro. I sat up there and broke it down really on my other channel, t Visions Media Uncut. I sat up here and told you how in the All I Know video with G Money, Jizzle, Wildside SB, 2K Ruger, 2K50 Ruger, whatever the name is. You had all them in the video and in the what the F you saying video with G Money. Ruga in that video, all the BBGs in that video. So by the time Baby Joe and YB was locked up together and they came out of the men's, you got to understand it was already set and done. He already knew how to get close to him because there was already people around him. Now, Leoshi, he out here, he keep posting his whereabouts. Like every time he in South Bend Rush, bro, look. We know you a stepper. We know you in South Baton Rouge. But you got to understand, baby Joe and them is too. So what I'm understanding is, why ain't nobody really bumping into each other, man? Like, this is something that could clearly be fought out. Now, I get a lot of flack on this channel. You always talking about fighting. This too, it's too much in war. Don't you know that and all that? Man, look, I done also had been in my situations. So I know exactly what's going on. But what we got to understand is if everybody in the same place and ain't nobody even trying to relocate their people, then that's just pure. You know what I'm saying? You got baby Joe out here drinking sea moss on the block, man. Shout out to him being aware of his health, man. Know what I mean? Shout out to baby Joe, man. Because a lot of people his age, 19, 20, ain't even thinking about drinking sea moss. Know what I mean? Get your sea moss up in your salute, man. But it's like, now it's just an ego thing. That's what I was going to say. You just chilling around and stuff like that. They ain't going to try to move your people out in there. It's ego. So when I make these videos, I'm not trying to throw no slings 
at nobody. Uh, I'm not trying to expose nobody. I'm not trying to be on nobody's side. Y'all already know. I told y'all I get down with everybody. I don't know these people personally. But what y'all got to understand, the people that are be our residents, is that people love y'all, bro. People love y'all culture. So let us talk about this, bro. It is what it is. They talking about it. They putting it out for us to know. You got people around they blocks. Know what I'm saying? You got Baby Joe up on his channel where he done walk off West Buchanan all the way up to the blue store, came back the same way and went through the cut and went to the little wooden house. Now, how I know that? That's because, man, they showing too much, bro, so you got to blame them. And this is what's going to put targets on people, man. If you got real beef, a lot of people going to keep it off the internet because top boy gorillas, you know, most of them keep it off the internet. Hardaway told Yoshi seven times to stay off the internet. Know what I'm saying? And people keep talking about Kevin Gates and why he don't come back and stay out the way. He come back when he need to. Boosie come back when he need to. These people throw bashes. They done gave back. They done came back a million times. So if they don't come back no more, y'all gonna call them fake? You can't do that. It's BBGs out here roaming around and they don't have as much money as the BBGs that are in it you know, public's eye that has as much money, uh, as near as money I uh, could get to the amount of money as YB. So they just out here. I'm sure they making money because they all rapping and they need to capitalize off this moment. The world is looking at Baton Rouge and this is what y'all got to understand. So we're not trying to captivate the beef to different heights. What we're trying to do is show you that plenty of people is behind Boosie. We're not saying that he got to be scared of nothing. No, you know, what I'm saying is you don't need more heat from other groups trying to get at you when you got all these other people that you got to feed. That's more security, whether you like it or not. It ain't saying more people, more security can mean more fire. That's what I'm trying to explain. So we got to sit here and look at it. Everybody in TBG is not on the forefront rapping. Everybody in BBG is not on the forefront rapping. Come on, man. You got different parts of BBG. This is what I'm trying to say. But all of this head young and stuff, and, you know, that's a good marketing scheme, and that's more people that's eating, because I don't think Boosty Boy B were rapping before then. You know, Vonte, you know, everybody else in BBG, BBG Wells, and all that, you know, they, they getting their hustle on the best way they can. You know, these is people of the street aspect of it. Whether you like it or not, this is all we trying to get to y'all. Now, the thing is, since Boozilla, a lot of things transpired. And no, it can't go back the way it used to be. But at least mother's got to put it in the air. You know, it's what you speak into existence. That's all I'm saying. Can't nothing just come out of nowhere. You got at least speaking into existence because a lot of people, you know, got lost behind this. And some things won't part of the beef. Some things is getting mixed and screwed. So, like I say, from the boulevards to the BBGs, they were close. Just because say TBG don't mean everybody was close. G-Money wasn't close with everybody in the boulevards. He was good. He was good. He was love. But we got to look at this from what it is. The Bane Man moved himself from the situation. Baby Joe is still around the situation, but... He getting to a different plateau. And I don't think he realized he getting big as he getting. So the J.D. Young and Beef, I don't understand why that's going on. You know? But I know YB got the M's and he got the meals. And if he really talked to somebody, then he can make things happen and he can move people, bro. That's all I was saying. Now, if he don't, which we know he ain't, of course. Okay, cool. But I got to put it out there. Because at the end of the day, it's still people that's locked up. It's still people trying to get home that came out. You got Boulevard Mail. He's still up in there. And it's BBGs in there. So it's a war outside and on the inside. You got BBGs that just came home. BBG Smug. You know, BBG Ken, they just came home. Now, whether Ken did that or whatever he did, as far as the quick situation that people keep whispering about, I won't say it is what it is. What we got to focus on is the fact that because of G-Money, yes, y'all right, it stems from this, but it really don't stems from this. 
you know, it's things that ain't gonna ever be settled. So we just gotta come to that. So whatever y'all wanna think is whatever y'all gonna think. It's a lot of people that still gonna go strong for it. And I just say that people should go ahead on and squash it before it be more people drop. Because the more people that drop, the more the police is gonna look into it anyway. And that's all I'm saying. And y'all know I'm right. Because the police is not just going to look into something that's not actively happening. People is not, because trust me, people watching. Y'all say the police on the social media. So now what? Boo lost. You know, so we got to all be mindful of whatever. Trust me, before the more this stuff happens, straight up, I'm out, man, on that note.